So I want to ask that question to you. How important do you think diversity inclusion is to the transport realm? Oh my God, it is unbelievably important. Um, and the kind of analogy that I always draw, and you could, I, I apologise for this analogy in advance, but say you got a group of women to design a bicycle seat, a, man, a male bicycle seat it would probably be a completely terrible product that would be enormously uncomfortable. Um, and so actually, what you need is the people using products and services to be part of the decision-making process such that the products and services are completely fit for purpose and completely reflective of, of the people that need to use them. And, you know, I think the data and insights that we got during the pandemic of, well, these are the people who are trip chaining, these are the people who the kind of peaks of commute um, in the morning and evening don't apply to. Um, mm. And this is how actually the rush hour is over an eight hour period, not a um, start and end of the day. That becomes, you know, I think it was a bit of a kind of like, oh, we need to really sort of think about these things. And I'd say that that's something that Arrival does incredibly well of trying to think about all of those different users and really create a product that's very, very well considered for them. So I worked in the experience team and they brought in a load of kind of, um, loads and loads of people with different ranges of mobility. So wheelchair users to people who are sort of visually impaired to make that experience work for them. But if you don't have the diversity sort of in your workforce to call these things out or to say this wouldn't work for me so how would it work for xyz mm. of course you're not going to consider those things because you're not always aware of your biases or you're not always aware of your experience not being reflected with somebody else's so yeah i think diversity to make sure that that services work and work for everyone is absolutely essential mm.